Time to make it happen. Green flag waving once again in Atlanta. There goes Reddick. He was blocked off by Earnhardt. Custer to the inside of Allgaier for second. Restart violation on the 23 of John Hunter Nemechek as the leaders come back. Two laps to go. They're side by side for the runner-up spot. That's Bell leading them around. Well, we see Cole Custer working his way back up through the field. They had a problem on a pit stop earlier. And now he's finally got the track position back. So it's uh, going to be interesting to see if he can make up a little bit of ground on Christopher Bell because he's had a great car on the short runs. It is so tough to get back in the game here when you have a problem. A number of guys have done it today. You talk about Cole Custer, Brandon Jones doing the same. And there they are going at it for fifth. Earnhardt and Reddick. Custer is right on the tail end of Bell. White flag is out. One to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. We got a race here, boys. Christopher Bell has dominated this race, leading 142 laps. A late caution, a big restart, and Cole Custer trying to chase him down. Spotter did his job letting Bell know that uh, the double zero closed on him in one and two in the top last time through. Bell won seven times last year, picking up where he left off. His ninth career victory comes today at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Great job, guys. Thank you. And I think that's a story we're going to hear a lot this year of, of Christopher Bell and Cole Custer running up at the front of the pack. And, and But Christopher Bell just, he put it on them today. In a word, yeah, guys, good car again. domination. Won both stages, led 143 of 163 laps. And a great day for Joe Gibbs Racing across the board. All three of their cars finishing inside the top six. Custer was second, Allgaier was third, Jones and Reddick complete the top five today. Well, just a, a lot of impressive runs, and, and obviously we talked about Christopher Bell and, and Cole Custer, but uh, Justin Allgaier did a great job getting his car back uh, in contention and, and gave himself a chance at the end, but the guy that sticks out in that top top six for me is uh, is still Jeffrey Earnhardt. I, I think he did a great job. He just unfortunately got stuck in that outside line there when we start. Back behind him, a couple of rookies. Justin Haley. Nice job by Noah Gregson to battle back and get a top 10 finish. I'd say your three probably championship favorites finish with two, three in the race. And then below that, you've got a bunch of young, hungry guys that are ready to go racing in five, you know, five minute careers, essentially. A couple of years ago, Christopher Bell won both stages, picked up a win in the truck series. And following our post-race coverage for the Xfinity cars today, it will be race number two in 2019 for the Gander Outdoors Truck Series. Looking forward to that later on. You can watch it live right here on FS1.